Hello there, this is Smiles1999. Once again, I have something that I just have to get off of my chest. Last time I was talking in general about things from my childhood that I thought weren't so cool anymore. Today I want to talk about something that I got in the mail. Right now I'm going to back up and explain where this letter came from. One of my many hobbies is that I like to write poetry, and every once in a while I'll submit to an online poetry contest. Well, I got a letter in the mail, and it must have come from someone who knows about the poems that I've submitted online. I'm a fairly skeptical person, especially for poetry things, because I've received a scam letter from a poetry place in the mail before, but I decide, whatever, I'll give it a look, you never know. Well, I open it up, and on the very top it says, Personal Invitation. I've been invited to a conference. Okay, and I go ahead and I read on the actual letter, and it says that one of my poems that I've written is has been chosen and I'm going to be honored as a famous poet for 2007 and I'm going to be formally awarded a gold medal. Even better than that, I'm invited to make a special guest appearance on a television show. And it also says that a national celebrity will be filming segments for the new television show and that I'm going to be invited to be on that show, read my poem, and not only that, but I'm going to get a free copy of that show I'm going to get a copy of the anthology that my poem's in, and I'm also going to get an audio CD of all the poems read. Okay, well that sounds really cool. Okay, so you want me to come to this conference, you're going to give me an award, I can be on this TV show, and I can get a copy of that, and also get a published copy of my poem. Okay, that's really cool. Now I move on to the newsletter that was enclosed with the letter that I received. On the front it shows some guy in a crown holding a sword, I guess, and it talks about the convention, it talks about a poetry contest, and it talks about some John Campbell guy. Okay. I open it up, and it shows a whole bunch of pictures of famous people. It talks about what's going to be going on at the convention. It, again, makes a big mention of some poetry contest. I guess I'm automatically entered. I don't know. And then it, there's a segment saying, your, po your poem will be published and recorded, and it shows a sample of what the anthology and the book CD are going to look like. Okay, and it also gives a little section about me being invited to be make a guest appearance on the TV show. Okay, so far this sounds really cool. And as far as the contest, it says the grand prize is $15,000. That sounds really cool. Okay, and I turn this over, and I look on the back. Okay, now it talks about what I have to do to actually go. It says I need to register, book my hotel, and book my travel. Okay, I have to pay for a hotel, and I have to pay for my own travel accommodation. Okay, that kind of sucks, but maybe it's not too bad. If this is something interesting, going to Reno wouldn't be that bad. Well, and I'm reading about the registration. Okay, this is where it all falls apart. You can't just go. You have to pay to go. And not only do you have to pay, you have to pay out the nose. Just to go, just by yourself, it's $595. And if you want to bring a guest, per guest, it's $395. Okay, I knew that there was something up. I just knew it. Nothing good ever comes without a lot of trial and effort. I just knew it. But come on, I was all excited. They make it sound really interesting. And then in the back, in really small print, you have to really read it. Then you see how if you want to go there, even with just one guest, not counting meals, not coming, counting accommodations, not counting your lodging, it's going to be like a thousand dollars. Oh my god, I knew this was some stupid flippin' scam, but oh, it just makes me mad. Why do people do this? Why do they take advantage of people and just say, oh yeah, we want to, we think you're special, we think you've done something important. But no, no they don't. They just want your money. They think you're stupid, and they figure that you'll pay money because you think they actually care. Of course they don't. And guess what? I looked on the internet. No big surprise. This is a huge scam. Lots of people have received these stupid letters, and unfortunately some people have fallen for it. Some people haven't. But as you can see here, I have posts from just two different websites. Just two. There's plenty more. But you can see how people have been scammed and they want to let other people know about this. This is so flippin' ridiculous. Why do you have to take advantage of people like this? It's all about the almighty dollar. Oh, I just, oh, I can't believe this pisses me off so much. You just shouldn't take advantage of people like this. I don't even know what more to say. Oh, I'm so pissed off. Just, oh, let me know what you think.